For the second time in four years, a Connecticut Superior Judge is facing charges before the state's Judicial Review Council. In this rare public hearing, the judge will face a panel of three judges, three lawyers, and three citizens that could remove her from the bench. News HG political correspondent Mark Davis here now with more on this unusual case. Mark? Hi, Darren, and good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. You know, there have only been about a dozen cases against sitting Connecticut judges over the past 15 years, and one of those was against this judge, and it resulted in one of the longest suspensions ever imposed. I'm saddened that I have placed you in this position, and I ask you for your forgiveness. Superior Court Judge Curtissa Cofield, who was suspended by the Judicial Review Board for eight months back in 2009, will be back before that board again on Wednesday. Her unprecedented suspension then was for a drunken, racially filled tirade at the Glastonbury Police Department. I'm sick of being treated like a freaking um, Negro from the hood. Yeah. Her actions following her arrest, caught on the police surveillance system, was called a violation of the Judicial Code of Conduct by a unanimous vote. Didn't willfully uh, say them, certainly, for, to uh, try to intimidate or threaten the officer. Um, I was intoxicated. After her suspension, she was assigned to the juvenile court. The State Department of Children and Families complained that she failed to act on four cases involving 10 children that were removed from their parents because of neglect or abuse, which made it impossible for the department to place the children with adoptive parents. The department finally got the appellate court to force Cofield to rule on the cases back in April. Cofield has declined to comment. Now, Judge Cofield's eight-year term is up in 2015, which means the state legislature will be reconsidering her reappointment next year. This Judicial Review Board, after hearing this case, could suspend her again, or they could kick her off the bench. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.